Hey guys, how's it going? I've got another video for you. Right now, I'm gonna be taking a look at the Strider PT. Um, it's gonna be a, you know a quick review, overview, whatever you want to call it. Um, just basically my overall thoughts and impressions on my new Strider PT um, in limited edition uh, Orange G10. This one was exclusive to Grand Prairie Knives. They're sold out now, but uh, this was an exclusive run for them with the Orange G10. Um, I've owned a Strider PT before. If you go back in my videos, or maybe you've seen it, it was a, a Digi Camo Blade Tanto um, uh, with the you know the standard Lego uh, configuration with the body, and uh, this is a CC uh, concealed carry version of the PT, and I have to say this thing makes me wish that I never got rid of my original uh, PT that's how much I miss having a PT it's an awesome knife it's super compact well built it's, it's a beautiful design you know this your classic Strider design and with the orange G10 and the you know Strider stonewash blade and the smooth stonewash titanium you know, in your in your concealed carry configuration without the clip, this is just an awesome, awesome blade. So basically, uh, this is if you don't know anything about Strider knives, this is the smallest knife that Strider makes um, in a folder. It's their smallest model, and it's uh, quite a bit smaller than the next up model, which would be the SNG. Here it is next to my SNG. So you can see that there's quite a big uh, size difference there. The PT is definitely a, a small, compact uh, EDC blade. I'd consider it maybe like a backup blade or you know just a, a, a light EDC. Everything about this knife is perfect. You know, it's got perfect centering. Um, you know, everything's just made perfectly fit and finish is incredible I just love the way that this thing looks um, it's got a it's got a pretty tight action um, similar to my I believe my older PT also had this uh, this tighter action whereas my SNG now is pretty smooth and you know it could be flung out this thing cannot be flung out um, at least not without uh, loosening the pivot which is one bad thing about the PTs I believe they do all if not most of their PTs with the uh, proprietary three hole pivot screw so that makes adjusting it kind of difficult if not impossible without the uh, designated uh, tool to do so but uh, it's it's easy for a one handed open you know you just can't uh, flick it out Lockup is good. Typical Strider lockup, you know, Strider typically doesn't have early lockups on their knives, and especially with the PTs. I think most of them are generally, you know, mid to late lockup. Um, and it's a little sticky. I gotta say, it's a little sticky. Um, but I put some graphite on there to uh, kind of loosen it up a little bit. That helps. Just gotta do that every once in a while. Hopefully, after a while, it will kind of wear in and get a little bit smoother. But I mean, it's it's fine. And uh, one thing that I do find, in conjunction with it being a little stiff to disengage the lock, because it's uh, such a small knife, and because the lock bar is so stiff, it kind of makes it hard to disengage it and get your get enough of your thumb in there to actually engage the lock bar um, especially with the the uh, the smooth stonewash titanium and there are some uh, there's some you know jimping uh, cut into the the lock bar there but it's smooth it would be better if it was sharper that way your thumb doesn't just roll off it so easily you can see a better close-up of the blade. 
Here you got your Strider logo on this side. And you've got your Strider name on this side. You've got this kind of oval shaped lanyard hole on the back there to put uh, any kind of lanyard you really want to put through there. I'm sure you'd be able to fit it. And one thing that I love about Striders is just how much jimping they put on the knife. You know, there's jimping all over the place on this knife. Uh, you got jimping in the back here, and you got a run of jimping that goes, you know, about an inch and a half, including the, the handle and the blade here. So you've got a ton of, you know, options as far as how you want to hold this knife you can choke up on it and you still have some grip there the jimping on the blade itself is not cut as sharply as it is on the handle I like the jimping on the handle because the G10 uh, is kind of sharp so that definitely catches your thumb nice as far as grip goes I mean it's you know typical strider shape and typical strider you know grip I got a, I say a medium to large size hand and you know it's possible to get your whole hand on there um, so no problems with me the G10 is nice and uh, smooth smooth finished that is of course because it is a concealed carry model so it's kinda got like a, three, a 3D contour to it As far as some specs go, the uh, the blade is, I believe, a little bit under three inches, uh, about 2.87 inches to be exact. The overall length is six and a half inches for the entire knife, so it's very compact. The blade steel on this, and I believe most of the new Striders nowadays, is uh, S35VN. It's got a closed length of 3.6 inches and it weighs only 2.3 ounces so it's very very light very compact but solidly built that's what I love about this knife it's not just a small knife it's a solid built strider you know it's still a strider um, still got the uh, the toughness that pretty much all striders inherently have just because it's small does not mean that it's uh, not capable of doing whatever task you need to put it to let me just give it a uh, quick comparison here next to my Microtech UTX 70 probably can't see that too well with the back black ground or black background uh, but uh, you can see it's a little bit bigger than the UTX 70 probably about half an inch three quarters of an inch longer in length and obviously you saw it next to the SNG let's put it up next to my ZT 560 as well see it's quite a bit smaller than the ZT 560 is kind of dwarfed by it anyways that's pretty much it uh, it's a really nice knife I'm glad I got it if you you know if you own striders and you haven't had a chance to check out a PT yet or haven't really thought about it I would definitely suggest doing so because they're definitely a cool unique knife just because of the size you know but with the size you're not losing anything. You you still have a well-built knife that looks identical in style to the SNG and the SMF. It's just scaled down. Same knife, just scaled down. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for some more videos.